you're entitled to not think what you want. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, obviously, usually we uh, disagree with somebody and what we say is you're entitled to think what you want. But I'm trying to make a point here now that many times people are not thinking when they think they're thinking. <laughs> they're, it may be magical thinking. Uh, it's oftentimes irrational thinking. Sometimes it's concrete thinking where they, uh, you know, they can't take the abstract or the analogy uh, or the reference. Uh, it, it's, it's not critical thinking. And that is what is necessary now in this stage of our society and our evolution, period. You must be critical in your thinking. And I, by that, I don't mean criticizing. I mean looking to make sure that your thought process is logical that one thought leads to another appropriately, that you don't take these leaps and twists and turns so that you, like, like the telephone uh, the, the telephone game where you whisper in one person's ear, the sky is blue, and they whisper it in the next person's ear and the next person's ear, and it comes out like 10 people later uh, to be, uh, there are fish in the, uh, you know, there are fish in the pond. It's, it's just, you know, this is what happens when we are sloppy with our thinking. Okay. Uh, you can't, that's what I loved about debate. Uh, that's what I lo loved about ma math. Math is logical. And, uh, I took logic in, philo in a uh, philosophy course, uh, and I love logic. Uh, that's what's beautiful about logic is uh, that, uh, you know, it, it works. If this, then that. Not if a, then a tree. <laughs> uh, you know, it's this is serious. Uh, we don't uh, look at our thinking process sufficiently. We have so many biases, so many prejudices, so many, uh, you know, thought distortions. So we have so many, uh, uh, you know, uh, expectations. Uh, we have fear, a lot of fear. And all of this stuff impacts on our thought processes such th that it oftentimes makes it almost impossible for us to uh, think ourselves out of a paper bag. The reason why most people fight in their personal relationships is because they don't use logic. One person says something, the other person doesn't respond to what they said. They respond to what they think they heard, what they think they said. They, they, they hear something different from what was said, and they, and you, you, and they don't ask for clarification. Uh, they, don't, they, you know, they don't ask that. Uh, let's, let's stay on the same page. Let's make sure that we, you know, that we are each on the same page, responding appropriately to what each person meant. And I've often talked about this, where uh, if you're in an argument with somebody and they say something, rather than just respond to what you think they said, make sure you, you, you know what they said by asking them it sounds like you said this it sounds like this is what you mean is that true or false then they can say yes it's true and then you can respond or they can say no you misunderstood and you misperceived this is what i meant and and then you can respond to that but if you respond right out of the gate automatically impulsively by what you think uh, they're saying as opposed to what they're really saying uh this is how miscommunication happens this is how uh <laughs> A lot of weird stuff happens. If you're in an argument or a fight with somebody, you know, stick to the rules, stick to logic. You know, don't pivot, don't distort, don't twist, don't misrepresent, don't exaggerate. Uh, you know, don't use the wrong words. Uh, I was uh, I was posting something the other day, and somebody said uh, uh, yeah, they were talking about Trump. They said he uh, he is he is going to destroy our country. And I said, you know, that's not accurate. Uh, you know, you, that's not accurate. He may destroy our country. You know, but I said, that, that's your fear talking. That's not a fact. That's not a fact that he's going to destroy our country. That's a fear. And it's sloppy to say that. It's much better to stick to the truth. And the truth is he may destroy our country. And then you can lay out the case for why you think that may uh, be true. But, uh, and I'm not just, it's, this isn't semantics. This isn't me picking apart little words. What we, th what we, the, the words we use matter. And we, you know, and when we say things that aren't accurate, you know, then we get fake news. Then we get, uh, <laughs> then we get, uh, then we go down a bad path. Okay. It's as simple as that. It's a bad path. It's a bad path on personal relationships. It's a bad path on, on, on the, uh, on the national front right now. Uh, when there's so much fear, so much anger, so much confusion, uh, that, that it's really important not to twist 
anybody's words. And it's also important to stick to the truth, you know, and not misrepresent yourself, you know, and uh, and not uh, be hypocritical and not uh, have a double standard. Uh, honesty, honesty is critical now. To be honest with yourself uh, and to be honest with others, and even if it doesn't make your case. You know, it's not right to omit stuff, be, uh, you know, because th those are called lies of omission when you don't say something uh, because it'll make your position look weak. So you so don't so you don't acknowledge something uh, that, that's true. Uh, you, you, so you don't lie about it, but you don't acknowledge it. You don't include it in the argument. Uh, it, it's, it's sloppy. It's dangerous. It's it, it's disingenuous uh, and, and it's hurtful to you and the person you're uh, you're disagreeing with. Uh, critical thinking is very, is critical. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you ne really need, uh, we really need to look at our thoughts, to look at the words we use and be very specific and be, and be able to back up the specific things we say with specific facts. Not rumors, you know, not, uh, not other people's misrepresentations, but the facts. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. If everybody would stick to that, with a pinch of compassion uh, and a pinch of calm, you know, boy, would things change dramatically. Truth, compassion, calm. Integrate those into your thinking and uh, your personal life will get better and uh, the world will get better.